Postal Service. Their new mail trucks, known as the next generation delivery vehicles, have started rolling out and are earning high praise from the carriers that are using them. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. This is the aerospace and defense news. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm i sure you're wondering how how did this article make it into a show about aerospace and defense? Well, this fleet was built by none so this other. This is the ugly news. <laughs> none other than Oshkosh Defense. They are replacing the aging Grumman trucks that... Uh, you know, often broke down, even caught fire from time to time. I think I've seen a news article on that, but I haven't seen one, you know, in person. I mean, I realize, and we saw the photo here, despite their unconventional design, these be these vehicles are really boasting some modern safety features, 360 degree cameras, airbags, and then some long overdue comforts like air conditioning. <laughs> airbags and air conditioning, they're right on the cutting edge, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are, they are. I mean, here's the thing though, speaking of cutting edge, most of the new fleet is gonna be fully electric, which aligns with the post okay. services sustainability mm. efforts, right? They're looking to cut emissions by 40% by 2030. It's, right. it's a big leap for both manufacturing efficiency that I'm sure they're carrying over into uh, Oshkosh Defense is carrying over into their best practices into the defense projects as well. Right. You know, right. So as just a, a brief recap, you know, we started throughout the course of this show. We talked about the mine sweeper, crazy cool, interchangeable going mm -hmm. in. We talked about the voice controlled attack drones. And now we are bringing you the discussion of the duck build <laughs> postal vehicles. Okay. Yeah. Just, but I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm making fun of the way they look, but honestly, it actually is a really cool whole process here. And it is funny because one of the people, one of the postal workers they interviewed for this said that you can tell the designers did not have appearance in mind. Yeah. I think it's a fair statement. Yeah. yeah. But it's showing that sometimes looks are not as important as other things, which is how I've survived as far as I have. But it's that you've got, you know, the quality the safety is actually huge, the functionality. So the older vehicles are actually prone to breaking down. In the last year, a hundred of them caught fire. So maybe, yeah, there is time for change for new postal vehicles. They have been, some of them in service since 1987, hmm. which to those of us who still mentally think we're in our twenties and have an age since then, that doesn't sound like that long ago, but 1987 is a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And they got a whopping, the originals, nine miles per gallon wow so it is time i think this is an upgrade that's long overdue yeah and they have been built with comfort utility safety in mind but now and i know that andrew's going to say this is the easy way out here they need sixty thousand of these things i think this is a clear case for looking at manufacturing at scale mm. i totally agree with you i totally exactly as soon as you said sixty thousand of them um that is me in agreement with you um the thought of mass production of full EVs for the USPS, um, USPS fleet, albeit from an Oshkosh who knows what they're doing, um, shift into electric power, sustainability goals, all those kind of good things. I think the production scalability is, is the biggest challenge. However, However it was back, coming. We knew it was slightly upstream from there, getting your process plans and your bill of process optimization is the first thing they've got to get right. That prepares you for production at scale. Oshkosh can streamline the production of the um, next gen delivery vehicle, NGDV, um, by optimizing manufacturing processes for scalability and efficiency. So they do that through virtual manufacturing. Um, that's that's where I would come in. So it's kind of, it's almost like a digital twin process to the whole thing. That approach will support aligning manufacturing best practices with defense projects, ensuring that the company stays agile, mm -hmm. both commercial and defense, as, uh, defense sectors while maintaining sustainability and production goals. So mm -hmm. there you go. I didn't go mess mom. I went just the notch before that. You know, it does seem like we're now possibly giving a new meaning to the term going postal. It could now mean actually like being safer, better quality, more efficient instead of previous meanings of the term. I'm trying. I'm trying here. But no, I think this is your your right, Andrew. That now, he, here's a question. Do you think this new generation is going to last longer or shorter than the previous generation? Probably shorter. I think technology keeps advancing fast enough. And, and there is questions about that you said all electric, right? I mean, some of these 
batteries don't last as long, to be honest, as, you know, old school diesel engines, right? Yeah. And it's what happens to the operate in the cold as well is, is, is in the, is the phrase of, you know, what, it, what is it? Snow ice. I forget the whole, the whole motto of the postal service, but will they be affected by cold weather? Yeah. That's the thing that happens There's to you. plenty of EVs drawn around in Canada and Denver and places like that. No problem. <laughs> like Den Denver's the cold weather in Andrew's mind. <laughs> yeah. Pretty soon they'll have drones delivering mail, so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so everybody, thanks for joining us for this recap of 10 hopefully interesting news articles that happened in the aerospace and defense and our takes on how proper product lifecycle management, viewing of the critical thread can help affect what's happening with production, profitability, all of these things. And with that, we'll see you all next week on the same bat time, same bat channel. That's right. Sounds good. See you next week. Good week. See you next week.